First look at the Pixel Experience Plus Edition ROM running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna have our first look at the Google Pixel Experience Plus Edition ROM, Android 9.0 Pi, security patch from August 1st, 2019, and the kernel is Illusion, running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Now the first question which I will get on this video is what is the difference between normal pixel experience and plus edition pixel experience. Well, for starters, I have linked the blog post by Henry K in the description of this video, which you can read. And then pixel experience normal edition is the experience which you get out of the box on a pixel device. That is what normal edition is about. Some peeps want extra customizations. For them, you have pixel experience plus edition. So Pixel Experience Plus Edition is basically Pixel Experience Normal Edition plus some extra customizations like long screenshot and they've also added the feature to record your screen. However, they do not have a UI for that yet. It will come down the line. The next question which I will get is that have touch issues been fixed with Pixel Experience? Well, the answer to that is both the Normal Edition and Plus Edition have the same touch screen drivers. I personally never had any touchscreen issues on my POCO F1, so I'm not the best person to answer that. The next question which I will get is, what is the screen on time on this build? I cannot answer that question because I do not use ROMs long enough to determine the screen on time. I make videos on the POCO F1 and I flash my phone multiple times a day, so I'm not the best person to answer that question either. Now in case you want to learn how to install the Pixel Experience Normal and Plus Edition, on your POCO F1. I have a separate video for that which is linked in the description of this video and it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. All those things out of the way, let's now get down and have our first look at the Pixel Experience Plus Edition ROM running on the POCO F1. So this is how your recents look, your normal Android 9.0 Pi recents along with Pixel Launcher and these are all the applications which come pre-installed. So you have calculator, calendar, Google camera, the version is 6.2. I think this is the latest build from Sanity. Then you have Google Chrome, Clock, Contacts, Files, FM Radio, Google Messages, Phone Application, Google Photos, Play Store. These are all the applications which come baked in with Google Pixel Experience ROM. You also have the option of long screenshot. So we are on the settings page right now. Scroll all the way up to the top and let's try taking a screenshot. And bam, if you click on this option, it will scroll down and there it is. It just took a long screenshot. So this is something which is not baked into Android, but because we are running plus edition, we do have the option of long screenshot. That out of the way, let's now dive into the features. So we'll go into settings, nothing much to talk about at network and internet and connected devices. We'll start with apps and notifications. We've already seen what all apps come baked in with the pixel experience plus edition then you have screen time we'll talk more about this in digital well-being you have the option for notifications so what all content you want to see on the lock screen whether you want notification dots or not what is your default notification sound you can configure your do not disturb from here whether you want to bring the led light which the poco f1 has over here for notifications and for low battery these are all the options you can customize from here going back going into advanced you can set up your default applications from here and then if we go back go into app permissions you can determine what all applications have access to the sensor so if we go into camera these are the five applications listed out of which camera messages and phone application have access to the camera chrome and google app do not have access to the camera so you can customize access for phone sms storage all those things then you can Customize your emergency alerts, whether you want amber alerts or not, you want alerts for extreme threats or not, severe threats, and if you want the phone to vibrate for these alerts or not, and you can also customize your alert reminder sound. Going back, let's go into battery. This is where you have your battery saver. You can turn it on automatically, and then once you turn it on, 
you can customize at what battery percentage you want the battery saver to kick in going back the next option we have is adaptive battery this is something which google introduced with android 9.0 pi wherein if you have a rogue application which is draining too much battery google and android will report that application to you and then you can decide what action you want to take with that application then whether you want to see battery percentage or not what was your last full charge and what is your screen on time you can get all these details on the battery option next up we have display in that you have the option of brightness level so you can customize your brightness level then you have night light you can determine at what time you want to turn on night light whether you want to turn it on at a custom time from sunset to sunrise or you can just click on turn on now and it will turn on the night light you can also control the intensity from this slider next up we have adaptive brightness so you can turn on and off adaptive brightness wherein your screen brightness will automatically adjust to your environment then you have live display you can change your color profile what do you want you want dynamic standard or srgb these are the three options you have then you have the option of enabling reading mode in case you like to read ebooks on your poco f1 next up we have color calibration using these sliders you can configure your rgb colors profile for your display then you have picture adjustment you can adjust the hue the saturation the intensity the contrast all of these options as you can see are working absolutely fine next up in display we have the option of choosing what wallpaper you want and after how many minutes you want your screen to go to sleep whether you want to enable auto rotate screen or not what is the font size you're looking for what is the display size you're looking for what is your notch behavior so whether you want the default or you want the notch to be hidden so as you can see if you set the notch behavior to be hidden it slides down and then the notch area is not used as a status bar so you will be losing out on that space then you have the option of a screensaver what screensaver you want then you have ambient display whether you want your display to light up when you get a new notification if you go into advanced you have three options whether you want your ambient display to turn on when you pick up the phone when you wave your hand at the phone and when you take your phone out of your pocket next up we have now playing which shows nearby songs on your lock screen and the ambient display next up we have tap to wake and tap to sleep so what is tap to wake so let's say your phone is locked you double tap and bam your display will wake up if you double tap one more time it will go back to sleep so that was a quick demonstration of tap to wake and tap to sleep then we have device theme what kind of device theme you want do you want it automatic based on the wallpaper do you want it light or do you want it dark when you select dark your system ui will restart and bam there we have it in dark theme in the building however your notifications will still be in normal white theme which i think is a limitation and i don't think so they're gonna work on fixing it for the plus edition now because android 10 is around the corner and there is no point in investing time and resources into fixing things for android pi once you change your device theme you can also change your dark theme style what do you want you want it default or do you want it all black and you can also change the accent colors using the color theme so let's choose purple wait for the ui to restart and bam there it is our accent colors change to purple the next option we have in settings is sound so you can customize your media volume call volume ring volume alarm volume vibrate for calls i think this option is broken i'm not sure then you have now playing do not disturb which we already talked about if you click on advanced you can customize your dial pad tones screen locking sounds charging sounds touch sounds screenshot sound touch vibration when you tap the keyboard fingerprint authentication vibration vibrate to indicate call status so you have all these options as well and while we are in sound you have this sound slider show up on the side however if you click on this arrow you can now change the ringer volume alarm volume and your normal media volume as well so if you click on the slider you get two more options nothing much to talk about in storage then we have security and location so over here you have the option of setting your screen lock lock screen preferences fingerprint all of these options are working absolutely fine if you go into smart lock and then if you enter your pin 
you will be greeted with this screen from here if you select trusted face this is from where you can set up your IR face unlock and it works absolutely fine however the only thing which I have noticed is that when it detects your face it will not take you to the home screen you have to swipe up and only then can you go to the home screen the next option we have is digital well-being this is also something which Google has introduced it will tell you how many times your phone has unlocked if you want to set timers for specific applications if you want to manage your notifications manage your do not disturb you can set up all those options from here if you want to limit the amount of time you are spending in a certain application you can do that from here as well so that is digital well-being for you and then if we go into system this is where you get the extra customizations and the first one is buttons so you can choose to disable your power button on the lock screen long press power button for the torch then you have volume button wake up device use the volume buttons to control your playback you know skip between tracks next and previous if you want to invert the layout of your navigation bar and bam there it is the back button and the recents button just switched then you have status bar if you want to disable the status bar on your lock screen whether you want quick pull down or not so right now quick pull down is off however if i change it to right and swipe down from the right my quick pull down will be expanded and if i swipe down from the left it will not be expanded so that there was a quick demo of quick pull down then you can choose what all icons you want to see in the status bar from these options and if you want to see the network traffic monitor or not along with the speed if you want to auto hide the network traffic indicators if there is no activity you can see if i enable this the icons disappeared then you have the unit of measurement for traffic whether you want it in kbps or mbps and whether you want to show the units in the status bar or not so these are all the customizations for status bar which we have then we have gestures you can use your jump to camera gesture wherein you can press the power button twice to open up the camera application swipe up on home button if you want the gestures from android 9.0 pi you can use that from here you do not have any full screen gestures in this rom as of now and you also have swipe to screenshot which is your three finger screenshot let's check that bam working like a boss and then you have your other options like date and time backup reset options as of now pixel experience plus edition rom does not support multiple users however from Henrique's post he said that starting with the next builds it will support multiple users however you will have to edit the build.prop to use the multiple users features and then you have system updates so yes pixel experience does get OTA updates as for the benchmark scores these are the benchmark scores which I got on this build and yes this is your result for Magisk CTS profile for those of you who are rooted So that will do it for this video peeps. I hope my video helped you Likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you